okay last class I have given the formula second law of, sorry first law of thermodynamics what is that dq is equal to du plus dw okay this is the first law of thermodynamics okay dq is equal to du plus dw okay if i supply heat energy to system okay in that the energy is converted into internal energy and external work done this is internal energy some energy is using internal energy See? external work done on the system external work done okay then the sum of the internal energy and external work and external work done on the system then we are calling that is the the supplied that that is equal to the the uh, amount of heat supplied to the system then we are calling this is the first law of thermodynamics okay next sign convections for first law of thermodynamics sign convections okay if in case dw is there first we will take next dw is there next dw may be positive dw may be negative next dq positive next dq negative these are the points okay when you are solving problems for in case if you get dw is equal to positive if you get dw is equal to negative if you get dw is equal to dq is equal to positive dq is equal to negative okay if you get dw is equal to plus means okay what we can say that is if the work is done by the system what we can say work is done by the system if dw is positive then if dw is positive then work is done by the system next if dw is negative then work is done on the system okay next if dq is positive positive means we are supplying heat to the system we are giving energy or heat we are giving heat to system system next same thing we are taking out we are taking out we are taking um, heat out of the system it we are taking it out of the okay dw is positive means work is done work is done by the system remember this done by here on prepositions so we are giving it to systems okay we are giving systems here what happened negative means we are taking the system so okay these are the first law of um, sign conventions next one limitations are there the first law limitation of first law limitations of first law okay so it does not explain the what is the first one it does not it doesn't it doesn't explain the heat flow it doesn't explain the heat flow 
this is the first failure the lim limitation of first law means simply one sense we can say then what are the drawbacks as the what are the drawbacks are there in the first law of thermodynamics what is the first one it does not explain about the heat flow how heat is flowing from uh, which point to which point from lower point to higher point or higher point to low point that it could not explain the um, thermodynamic first law next it doesn't explain about that <coughs> Uh, this here what is the first one heat flow heat flow it explains next it doesn't explain the efficiency of heat efficiency heat it doesn't explain about the efficiency remember this point it could not explain the heat flow it could not explain the efficiency next um the work is uh, see how energy is converted into work how and work okay these are the main three back three drawbacks we can say heat flow how the heat is flowing he could not explain next efficiency of heat also efficiency of work also he could not explain next how energy is converted into work that also it could not explain the thermodynamic first law okay this is the first law okay what is first law so you are getting these questions four marks first you have to write the definition what happen if you are supplying some energy to the system okay some is mm, entering in some is energy is using in internal energy some is external work done then we are called that is the first law of thermodynamics in the mathematical form dq is equal du plus dw next you have to write the sign conventions like this dw dw plus minus dq plus and dq minus next afterwards limitations only remember these points okay it how oh, uh, it could not explain the heat flow next it could not explain the efficiency it could not explain the how energy is converted into work okay this is about the first law of the thermodynamics